Welcome Civic Leadership Academy cohort. As leaders in our community, it makes sense for you to learn about local government and its role in helping Charlotte continue as a world-class city. With this brief overview of the City of Charlotte Landscape Management Division's tree management, you will begin to understand one important piece of what makes Charlotte shine as the City of Trees. The City Arborist Office is a part of the General Services Division and as such plans, coordinates, and executes tree management activities. There are many opinions in Charlotte about trees. Love, hate, indifference, and for a variety of reasons, I love the shade. The trees are so pretty. Trees, what trees? Too many leaves to rake. And of course, those canker worms, yuck. But I, for one, I love trees. As a child, I enjoyed climbing trees, watching ants walk up and down their trunks, sitting on the ground in their shade, and jumping into freshly raked leaf piles. Trees are important to me, and I believe they should be maintained and protected. There are many benefits of Charlotte's urban forest. Cleaner air, reduced stormwater runoff, cooler streets and parking lots, reduced energy use, and many more. If one were to estimate a dollar value, Charlotte's trees provide the city more than $335 million in benefits annually. But what does that number translate to in our day-to-day -day lives? Multiple sources from scientific studies out of California and Ohio to our network friend HGTV attempt to answer that question. They find that our energy and air conditioning costs are lower and who among us wouldn't love their home value to increase. Those benefits sound exciting, right? But we still need to understand how tree canopy planting, care, and preservation happens in our city. To do that, we need to understand that there is a tree ordinance in place. This ordinance protects trees before, during, and after construction. City of Charlotte Urban Forestry is concerned with tree planting on commercial properties. You might think of this as places of business, for example. And the Charlotte Arborist Office takes care of trees in the right-of-way. The right-of-way or city-maintained area includes any tree between the sidewalk and the street and any medians. In 2011, City Council adopted a tree canopy goal of 50% coverage by the year 2050. Progress toward meeting the goal is measured by periodic tree canopy studies. This long-term goal provides a bold but realistic target, recognizing that the tree canopy is dynamic and ever-changing. This goal was to become a rallying cry to encourage citizen action in reaching the goal. The goal helps communicate a shared objective to ensure that a healthy tree canopy is sustained for the benefit of current and future citizens, as well as be the centerpiece of a communication effort to encourage citizens, neighborhoods, and community groups to take action by planting trees and maintaining the urban forest. This photo is a snapshot of the largest reason for canopy loss. The orange area was full canopy coverage in 2012, and by 2018, it was a neighborhood with no canopy coverage. More and more development projects are submitted to the city for approval annually. That's something we must think about. How many trees do these projects take out collectively? Besides new businesses, sidewalks, and streets, there are a range of outcomes of development, not just trees removed, but cut roots and damaged or banged up bark. Many threats to our urban forest exist. Development is just one of them. Certain pests, storms, and not enough care 
are all challenges to maintaining and preserving our urban forest. And did you know that some of our trees have been in the ground for more than 100 years? Did you also know that there was no automation when they were planted? No fancy tree spades or high-tech tree companies to hire to do the job? Just a side note. Yet those trees planted long ago have thrived and they've grown older and older. One of the many things that attract people to our area from other places is our tree canopy, of course. These towering giants aren't just pretty to look at. It also feels good to walk in their shade and you can't see it, but they're busy providing habitat for wildlife, cleaning our air and water, and making oxygen. But how do we care for a mature tree canopy? Well, you cut some down when needed. Declining health, disease, storm damage can all be factors in the removal of a tree. Routine inspections and pruning are all part of maintaining a healthy canopy. Storm damage trends are one indicator of the larger aging canopy issue, and these impacts are carefully monitored. Many trees removed as a result of storm damage are significant sources of canopy, and tree management resources are limited. Part of having a beautiful urban forest with its many environmental benefits is that sometimes we are inconvenienced. The City Arborist Office works hard to keep these disruptions to a minimum. The City Arborist Office always has staff ready to deal with storm-related emergencies, but insects can also be a threat to our trees. We monitor one of these pests in particular, the fall kicker worm, a pest that potentially can be a major nuisance every year and cause significant damage to our aging trees. Canker worms have been hard to find the past spring or two, but we believe this is part of a cycle that ebbs and flows. We'll have to wait and see. Visit charlottenc.gov forward slash cankerworm to stay up to date on the City Arborist Office banding recommendations each year. Have you noticed any mushrooms or barnacle looking structures at the base of trees along the street or in the medians? It's possible these could be a sign of root rot disease. There are no cures once the tree is infected and the fungi cannot be eliminated from the surrounding soil once the tree or shrub is removed. Although there are no chemical cures for these diseases, they can be prevented by proper planting and maintenance practices. You can help by avoiding tree damage from improper pruning, lawnmower damage, and excavation within the root zone. The city in partnership with Trees Charlotte worked through 2016 to complete a master plan for our urban forest. The plan serves as a guide to maintain, enhance, and protect our extensive tree canopy cover. The city council adopted the plan in 2017 and work has been ongoing to implement since then. The Unified Development Ordinance or UDO lays out multiple ways in which monies acquired through mitigation funds will be used to help with our goals of canopy coverage, care and maintenance, and preservation. An urban forest management plan is a playbook, providing detailed information, recommendations, and resources needed to effectively and proactively manage and grow our city's tree canopy. It will set benchmarks for city staff to be able to gauge the progress towards our canopy goal. It provides a shared vision for the future of the urban forest to inspire and engage stakeholders in the care and protection of trees. Remember the goal City Council set to attain 50% tree canopy cover by 2050? Well, the city recognized that it would not be possible to reach this goal by planting only on public lands. In conjunction with the adoption of the goal, the nonprofit Tree Charlotte was formed to be able to reach out to private citizens and increase planting on private lands. In three years, Tree Charlotte planted or gave away over 23,000 trees, managed over 5,000 volunteers, 
and built strong partnerships with Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, Mecklenburg County Parks and Recreation, in Livian, formerly known as the Charlotte Housing Authority, and multiple local companies. You can learn more about Tree Charlotte's planting events and tree giveaways at treescharlotte.org forward slash calendar. Also, matching grants for tree care initiatives are available. Up to $3,000 can be granted for initiatives such as tree-related education or tree banding. Check out charlottenc.gov forward slash tree care grant to learn more. Each day is a new opportunity to step outside and care for our great city's trees and enjoy their benefits. Each day is another chance to join the trees in saving the world. Take a walk, breathe deeply, relax under a tree. This concludes this overview of City of Charlotte Arborist Office tree management. This is only the surface of how much there is to know and appreciate about the maintenance and preservation of Charlotte's urban forest. If you have questions or want to know more, visit charlottenc.gov forward slash trees.